by Poole, the defender. Usby trailing, hesitates, steps into the lane and drops that one in. Bucket just a second ago. Look at this. Just perfectly over, makes the step, comes across. Paris, plenty of time and space and buries the first three for North Carolina. India Navarre goes underneath. Usby back to the basket. Facilitates from the lane. Paris. Now Kelly. And there's her first three. As soon as she got the contact. And actually, this is the three, my apologies. Deja Kelly. She's going to need to do that all day. Gardner Webb. Paris, another attempt from three. It rattles out. Usby the offensive board. Put back, not there. She left it short. She's going to want that one back, but. Good move on the offensive board. Thunderbird for three. Rips the bottom of the net. As we close out the beginning stanza. Navarre heaves. Rips the bottom of the net. A buzzer beater which will undoubtedly be reviewed. But what a way to open up the season. In just beautiful fashion, clock winds down. The half court heave. Loosens up the feet, takes an extra step. Kelly goes to Gokdang underneath, spins in the same direction as last time and gets the lay in. You add that to the presence of Alyssa Usby and the veterans you have defensively. And another steal, easy lay in. 18 turnovers forced for North Carolina. That has resulted in 21 fast break points. Pushing forward, Kelly, one touch underneath. Usby overheads, Paris, the three rolls in. Second make from deep for Paulina Paris. Three point shooting starting to click for North Carolina after a cold start. Here's Kieta, strong drive, out for Funderburg, a three of her own, the answer for Gardner-Webb. Hawkins against Kelly, into the lane, top floater, and it drops in. Martinez the rebound, three seconds left in the half, ahead, Funderburg gets it off, and trails it. Two quarters in, each team with a buzzer beater to close out both the first and the second. Michael Arena. A half court buzzer beater and then Thunderbird staying hot from behind the... Freshman Renaya Kelly feeds Lexi Donarski. Now they go Usby in the corner. He was honored pregame for reaching the 1,000 career points threshold. Donarski pulls up from distance and drains the three. It took an extra effort on the tail end. Kelly, a look ahead. Donarski, three-pointer is in. Paste on those two threes from Donarski. Same exact spot. And a quick defensive rebound to try and extend that run over the past minute and change. Donarski again, three ball. Her third of the evening. It forces a Gardner Webb timeout. 59 to 30, the lead for North Carolina in the third. Thunderbird over to Hawkins for Gardner Webb. It's poked from behind. Usby stumbles onto a steal. The look ahead for Paris. Easy lay in for two. That's 13 consecutive points for North Carolina. Also, just looking at that, the ACC stacked this season with Virginia Tech and North Carolina. Another three pointer for North Carolina as Paulina Paris buries it. Tar Heels basketball underneath their own hoop. They go to Usby. Nice find underneath on your pull with the late foul on the tail end with a chance at a three-point play. Chance at a three-point play. You didn't see that first pass. Paris the steal immediately looking forward. They go Usby's way. Double teamed. Finds pull. Back door. There it is again. Took the advice. Got better on the finish there. Gets two points. Corner three. Donarski nails it for North Carolina. Nine, there was a point where she was one for five from behind the arc. Since then, just lights out. Harris is there. She gets a high screen. Shot clock winding down. Seven on it. Zelaya for three. 
Hawkins against Paris. Splits defenders. Sends the pass to the corner. Bailey's three knocked down. That is a really nice play by both Hawkins and then Bailey to put on the finishing touch. And just looking at this again from Hawkins, you see that splits Zelaya in Paris. Goes up like she could go for the layup. Makes the unselfish play. And hit the shot. Now ahead, Navarre. Banks it in easily for two. And that is the end of the third quarter. I mean, I think we can pretty safely confirm the, the swagger of Coach Merritt because, I mean, this is a guy, he, he played and performed well in a Final Four. Gardner Webb dribbles it out to the final horn, and that will do it on opening night for both of these teams.